Hello everyone, this is Yanis Patura and in this video I am going to show how to prepare source texts for aligning in a Glonar reader. The most important requirement is that your texts must be in UDF8 encoding. So when you save them from a text editor, please make sure that UDF8 is the selected encoding. Second, all texts must be reflowable. That means that line breaks cannot be used for separating lines from each other. That's a job for the software that renders and displays the text, so you must get rid of those line breaks in advance. Third, pay special attention to M dashes. They must be real Unicode M dashes separated from adjacent words with spaces. They can't be hyphens or double hyphens, so you'll have to replace them too. To illustrate this process, I'll use A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens from Project Gutenberg. I have already opened the page. As you can see, there is a reflowable HTML version available. Here, line breaks are not used for separating lines. We could take the text from this page, but let's work with the worst case, plain text. Let's copy this text to Notepad++. You can use different text editors, of course. First of all, let's erase all text that is not a part of this book. Now. If we press show all characters, we can see that every line ends with CRLF characters or line breaks. In a reflowable document, these characters are used only for separating paragraphs from each other, so we must replace these line breaks with spaces. But if we do that now, we'll lose information about paragraphs, which in this document is represented as double line breaks. That's why we must preserve these double line breaks so that they are not affected by replacement of line breaks with spaces. Usually I temporarily replace them with double tildes. Okay, so now we can safely re replace line breaks with spaces. After this operation there are no line breaks remaining in the text, so Notepad++ shows it as a huge single line. Let's turn word wrap on. To restore line breaks for paragraphs, let's replace double tildes with single line breaks again. Oops. Great. The last problem remaining with this text is that M dashes are represented as double hyphens without spaces. For M dashes to be used correctly by a Glonar reader, they must be open set, although this contradicts the original punctuation. So let's replace double hyphens with open set M dashes. To eliminate double spaces, we will replace them with single spaces until no occurrences are found. Before saving the text file, let's make sure that the encoding used for saving is UDF8. Now we can save the file with any name we like and it is ready to be imported into a Glonar reader. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!